So your Ender 3 doesn't print. I've got another solution for you. I posted a video on it before, and I'm responding to that video with the fix that I have. What you gotta do is uh, take here. Little dude out. Put her in the old beast. Now, what uh, <clears throat> I have is uh, ignore these th th three, no, the four things. What you need is this 456.bin in the root of the SD, which means it's the first file. Like if you, if you click up here, it's just your file name. I can't find uh, the, the, the thing I downloaded. That's an issue. So I'm already gonna take the downloaded thing and uh, put it in a Google Drive and share it with you as well. Trust me. I have linked the file in um, my drive on a throwaway account, so yeah. Um, factory firmware is what I called it, dot bin. Uh, download that. It's You can look at the file. I don't know how. Good luck. Then what you wanna do is uh, go into your little device down here and uh, open it. And then in here, we uh, <clears throat> save it here as four, five, six is what I did it, but you can do a one, two, three, I think. That's what the videos usually say. Um, and then uh, we gotta do a go over here, right click, eject that, take it out, put her back in here. Then you turn it on and then it should have that Ender logo. But you're installing a new firmware, so it might take like a few seconds. Honestly, I'd wait a minute before trying anything else. All right, so I'm gonna tell you what the issue was. You can stop watching the video now because that should have fixed it. Um, if it didn't and uh, you're still having the issue where it moves, it almost starts a print and then just stops, like just freezes. And this freezes too, the whole screen. Um, <clears throat> it was because your firmware was originally corrupted. You added a new firmware, maybe, if you already did that. If you have two firmwares, it just stops. Like I had two firmwares on the same thing for some reason. It didn't make sense to me either. Um, but I took one out and it just magically started working. So you should, you should probably try that. It's just another Ender 3 fix. Um, before this, I had the blue screen of death, so I had to do, download a new firmware. It was the wrong one. Uh, the one I have definitely works for the Ender 3 V1. And uh, you're welcome. Hope it fixed.